another day in paradise here in the Galapagos. We were up super early in order to get a 6am ferry taking us from Isabella to here in Santa Cruz and then we have a ferry later on to San Cristobal. We have finally got ourselves some coffee which is much needed because we're up at 4.15 because even though the ferry wasn't until 6, we had to be at the ferry port at 5 a.m. and we got ourselves some baked goods for breakfast and now we just have to kill six hours until our next ferry. how quickly the past few hours have flown by. All we have done is walk from the ferry port in Puerto Ayora to Playa Estacion along Charles Darwin Avenue, which is kind of like the main street here. And we've just been completely entertained by all of the animals that we've seen. I mean, we saw pelicans, turtles, sea lions, marine iguanas, completely for free, literally in the middle of town so if you're thinking of coming to galapagos but you're worried about it being expensive obviously the cheaper way to do it compared to doing it on a boat is to actually stay on these three islands however you can do it even cheaper and not really have to go on any tours and still see so many different animals i'm obviously not saying you shouldn't go on tours because it's probably a better experience that way but it's still possible to get an amazing experience for free. Absolutely. I think one of the things that has really stood out is just pure abundance of wildlife and how close you can get to it. This place is just so incredibly special. And I think what's even more special is just the accessibility of it all. Typically you'd have to go to a specific location or somewhere quite remote in order to see wildlife like this. And don't get me wrong, obviously, this is technically quite remote, but once you're here, you are just gifted with all of this life around you, and it's just amazing to see. But I think now we're going to head back to the center of town so we can eat some lunch. <laughs> After another delicious $5 and worse so, aka menu of the day, it's now time to get onto our ferry. Just a reminder that every ferry in the Galapagos costs 30 US dollars per person, but you do have to pay an extra $1 for each water taxi to and from, so it makes it more like $32 per person per ferry. Time to collect our bags from Get Galapagos who have kindly held them while we wandered around town today and uh, board the ferry.
after a very uneventful ferry ride, we've now made it to San Cristobal. Honestly, it's kind of amazing. Everything here just runs more or less like clockwork. Everybody knows exactly what's going on. And yeah, from door to door, it's pretty seamless. So mm -hmm. that's been really good. Now that we're here, then obviously we want to make sure that we have a couple of activities booked. And so we set about having a look at the famous 360 tour of San Cristobal. I think it's the most popular one and we really wanted to do it tomorrow so we just popped into a tour operator on our way here to our accommodation and booked it and online I had seen that it was between 180 and 190 US dollars per person but when we went into the tour operator they only charge us $130 per person. So I think the moral of the story is to definitely book in person probably with cash although she did offer us card do not go with the online operators because it's just clearly more expensive. It could be because we booked last minute and they had spaces left that that's why they charge us $130 because she did say the normal price is $180. But at the very least, I think I would just book tours once you arrive to get the best price. So while we are super excited by the prospects of doing that tomorrow, and that is going to be quite an early start, we are pretty bushed after having got up at basically 4 a.m. and having been going more or less non-stop for the last 13 hours. So with that, we are going to turn in for today, but we will catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning from San Cristobal. It is just before seven in the morning and we've come to a local panderia, which is a bakery, to pick up some pastries and coffee before our tour starts in what, about half an hour time? So it's brilliant. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. We saw sea lions, a spotted eagle ray, some sharks, and a bunch of turtles, as well as just schools upon schools of amazing fish we've never seen before. That was really special. Yeah, I think this is what I was most looking forward to on this tour, and it did not disappoint. I mean, swimming with two sea lions, I think they're quickly becoming my favorite animal, and of course, turtles and a hammerhead shark. We did see a black tip reef shark, but I didn't capture that at all because it really swam by quickly. 
but the, what is it called, the Spotted Eagle Ray, or Eagle Spotted Ray? Spotted Eagle Ray. Spotted Eagle Ray was pretty special because we've seen them before, but this one hung around for quite a while, so it was amazing. Just incredible. Considering the fact that that was our first time snorkeling in open water with like no bay to go to, that was really, really good. So I'm glad we've been able to do this. Can't wait for the rest of the tour. just come back to the boat after snorkeling in Sardine Bay and other than the fact that I am absolutely frozen it was incredible because we saw like so many sea turtles I don't know how many there were I lost count I think it was five but I think we may have even seen more from the beach as well it's crazy but apparently this is also a nesting ground for turtles here as well so apparently this is just the place to be to see them and it was crazy because I feel like I got too close to them almost, but it wasn't like I was trying to. It was just that the current was pushing me closer and closer to the sea turtles. And so then I would like really have to try and back away, but it was incredible to swim with them all.
we've just finished up at our last snorkeling spot of the day, which is called Blanco de Rosa. And the whole idea is to see as many turtles as you possibly can. I think it's fair to say we definitely did. I think I lost count at around 10, and I feel like there were more. But the real jewel in the crown was that there were a number of really curious sea lions who just kept swimming around us all the time. It was just so cool. That was definitely my favorite part, and I think so far in the Galapagos, that's the best time I've had swimming with sea lions. It felt super personal, and there were three or four of them, and they were just so curious and stayed around for so long, so that was incredible. And then the other thing we got to do is swim with white tip reef sharks again, but there weren't as many, and the visibility in the water was really poor. It was very murky, so I only saw two. I don't know if you I saw any because any. you had to dive down to see them, but that was fantastic. This part of the world is an absolute gem, and I think today just really took the side that. It's been such a good day out. We've just got back to our accommodation, and I've already changed into dry clothes, as has Nick. But I don't know what more we can say about that full day tour. It was amazing. I mean, being here in the Galapagos in general is a truly remarkable, once in a lifetime kind of experience. And I think really the tour that we were on today just typified that more than anything. It's really not every day that you can go open water snorkeling, first of all, and see sharks, rays, sea lions, turtles, and just get to share the water with these amazing animals in a truly safe environment. You, you never feel like you're in any particular danger and obviously the fact that you have a guide with you as well to help kind of talk you through the experience, make sure you're getting the best viewing of everything is second to none. And let's be fair, the food that we got on top of all of that was really nice too. Yeah, it was delicious. The tuna was amazing, the rice, the salad the plantain chips and they served us snacks all day like chocolate croissant and pineapple mm -hmm. they just took such good care of us and the fact that like wetsuits were included our snorkeling gear was included even they, the water taxis were included as well which hasn't always been a thing they gave us towels it was just so well organized so professional our guide nicolas was so informative we could not recommend this tour enough and i would do this again 100% in a heartbeat. We are by no means sponsored by this company, but we definitely recommend Eco Fishing Galapagos if you're going to do the 360 tour because they take such amazing care of you and make sure you have the best experience. But we obviously have come home now and we've got a lot of editing to do because we have taken a lot of photos, a lot of videos. I hope this all translates onto the screen for you to appreciate because Again, this was such a great day, and I hope you can all see why. I'm really looking forward to just going through all the footage again. But anyway, that's it for now. We will catch up with you tomorrow, but until next time, take care. And keep smiling.